Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Colonel Sue, Command Sergeant Major Morris, Command Teams, distinguished guests and visitors. On behalf of the Battalion Commander of the 1st Battalion, 77th Field Artillery Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Derek M. Reeves, Battalion Command Sergeant Major Caleb C. Webster, who would like to welcome you to today's ceremony. During today's ceremony, Charlie Battery, 1st Battalion, 77th Field Artillery Regiment, will be reactivated in the assumption of command for the incoming commander, Captain Ma Pre Gill. This marks the first time the battery has been present in Europe since the inactivation of 1st Battalion, 77th Field Artillery Regiment in May of 2013, after their service in Operation Enduring Freedom in 2011 and 2012, serving under 172 Infantry Brigade. Battalion commander then passes the guy on to the incoming commander, Captain Gill, thus demonstrating his confidence in the commander's ability to handle the responsibility of command and maintain the unit which is disciplined and trained in the basics of soldier. The incoming commander then passes the guy on to the first sergeant, First Sergeant Rosales, signifying her trust and confidence in the leaders and soldiers of the organization. Core structure is a byproduct of capability, threat, and prioritization. It defines how we fight and driven by resources. Over the past 20 years, we've transitioned from an already focused on counterinsurgency, the war on terrorism, being prepared to fight large-scale combat operations against a peer peer threat. The Army leaders set up the future of a major war and saw the need for more rocket and missile fires to win in combat. You only have to look at the conflict in Ukraine to see the importance of rocket right, missile fires in modern combat and the need for an increasing power. So today, we take the first major step in increasing the Army's capability in Europe. The activation of Charlie Battery is about increased combat capabilities. As the theater goes uh, from 32 launchers to 54, the battalion is going from 16 launchers and two batteries, the total four platoons, to 27 launchers, three batteries, and three platoons. This is a tremendous growth in capability and lethality that hits a significant milestone today. The milestone is significant and critical to the importance of security in Europe. First and foremost, I will get glory to Ivan because he made all this possible. Thank you, Ivan. Now I will start with my family. My biggest fan, my grandpa, would have been over the moon. Grandpa, I'm very really fortunate to have been born in your family. Thank you for all the love and inspiration you gave to your family. I didn't realize how much I love you, that I couldn't say that to you anymore. I miss you. Grandma, thank you for teaching me how to cook and being my sounding board. I love you too. Mom, I am your twin. Thanks for all the time, energy, and love you have showered on me. Dad, thank you for teaching me how to ride a bike, drive a car, and be there for me every busy as well. My younger sister, thanks for keeping me in check for I love you. My uncle, auntie, families, and all my cousins, thanks for loving me. You see, I have enough love to last me a lifetime. Today is a monumental day for Cobra Battery. It is not, it's not just us six that have a stake in the battery, as you can see from this fabulous formation. All 177 FAR has a stake as it's reflected by the formation and support. Thank you to my fellow battery commanders and company commanders. Thank you. Uh, for getting us off the ground. Also, thank you to the HHP Brigade. This is truly humbling, and again, thank you for being here. Victory, fifth Corps, Victory Corps, it will be done. Great gunners, ready now. Falcons on guard, over battery, most lethal, over six signing on the net. So, 
this concludes today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please join Captain Gale and First Sergeant Rosales and her family here in the gym for the reception. Thank you for attending.